Hello, boys and girls, ladies and germs, peeps in general. If you know what I'm looking at, chances are you've been playing this game. This is Surrey's. Surrey's Scrapyard. Such an interesting place. Now, if you go just like this, oh, you can, you can make out that there's a mech right there. But otherwise, looking down, you really can't see anything. And it's because they wanted you to use night vision or heat, which would make it easy. Let me just preface this. This map is designed specifically for light mechs, especially light mechs with stealth. This is stealth light mech paradise. Every structure is designed to look a little bit like it could be um, an outcrop of something or like a mech. So if you have stealth, Ceres Scrapyard is your home planet. You want to come here all the time. And in night vision, you can't see a stealth mech. They don't produce any heat. You can make out a sort of a silhouette, and when they run past you, you can see the, smoke, the uh, dust picked up. And you can also see the machine guns and lasers that are uh, targeting the hell out of you. And if it's a uh, scale shot, which does not have stealth, the only time you're going to notice him is right when he's killing you. Which has happened to me on this map. But let me show you what you can do to make this map much more tolerable. Quitting the match, yes, that would also work. So you come in here. And you adjust this almost to 100 and you do the same thing with your gamma so you adjust your brightness and your gamma up and this is in the video controls here when you when you're in settings and then you hit save and watch what's going to happen nothing watch what's going to happen now though now this is a much more tolerable map. Look at my Nova Cat. You can make out all the color and the detail of this mech. And you come over here to this worthless Intersphere mech. Sorry, anybody who's an Intersphere mech fan. You can make out the colors and even look at his legs when I fire on him. And when it's like this, we're going to come down to this nice little patch here. You can definitely see things flying through the sky. Watch the lasers. Yeah, this is much more tolerable. Let me show you the cockpit. Pretty snazzy, huh? I'm kidding. That's not the reason I wanted to show you this. Yeah, look at that. I got some junk. I got so much junk, I've got cooling uh, vents that go right into the legs, right at the crotch. Yeah. That's why I'm married to a redhead. By the way, that spinning gun, that drives me nuts. Anyway. Target acquired. That's what's going on. That's, I've been trying to figure that out. Anyway. What I want to show you isn't me killing a mech. 
come down here into the light. Look at this. Who knew these flowers were red? Who knew? If you have your brightness adjust up, you can see them. This makes the map so much more better. More better. That is a thing. Go ahead and look it up. Blue target acquired. Yeah, this is much more tolerable. Now that you're used to this, the whole reason I kept this video going, I want to show you what it's like normally, again. So we go to video, and I think most of the time it's set up right around here if it's stock. Save. And then you have to put on night vision. Light amplification. Engage. Which does make it a little bit better. No colors there. I'm not going to pick on another centurion. It's no fun when they can't fight back. Turn off night vision. Light. Amplification disabled. Turn, turn on heat. Image enhancement engaged. You can see how an ECM mech would basically just kind of disappear. This is in heat mode, obviously. Image enhancement disabled. Go back to video. And even if you set it to here, like in the 80 percentile, just this down just a little bit right there, and hit save. This is still very tolerable. You can make out the ground detail. I wasn't the first person to come up with this. Uh, I believe Brios was actually the first person that came up with this, or maybe Improvise. But this is so much better than the way it was. Hope this has been helpful, and I'm definitely getting rid of this spinning gun on my dashboard. Uh, I don't care what I put there.